What do we make of this moment of Johnny's revelation where he quotes the St. Paul a number of times? Well, I think again it is up to you how you receive it and which again probably depends on how uh, familiar you are with the passages from the Bible and as the Bible uh, in one's everyday life. And I think in 1947 it could be and probably was assumed uh, that these passages would be familiar to people uh, in the audience and that they would recognize them uh, and, and that they would acknowledge that, uh, that, that they were key passages of uh, scriptural text which uh, they either did know or ought to know uh, and understand. Quite what it means in terms of, of, of Johnny uh, and, and his um, coming to terms with, with the fact that he's dying, which uh, is very uh, much in evidence and nobody seems to have any uh, reticence about saying uh, in his presence that he's dying, uh, that um, uh, it is quite significant that he says, uh, and when I became a man I put away childish things, which I think is the key uh, to, to, to the first quotation, uh, that uh, he thought he had put Father Tom and what he was taught at school out of his life. Um, but now here he is uh, looking death in the face uh, and he finds uh, that, that, that he actually goes back to what he was taught at school, uh, what he was taught in church uh, and, and that uh, it, it is a help or it is a, a necessary aid uh, as he go on, goes on the final length of his journey. Um, and uh, he also talks about uh, the sounding brass and tinkling cymbal, uh, which again it's never uh, made clear but I think could quite reasonably be thought that the, uh, uh, his association with uh, the IRA or the political causes that he's championed um, no longer seem to him to have the same uh, invulnerability uh, that these early texts that he learnt as a child have to him now.